Hi, it's Sally. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's layout is going to be a 12 by 12 layout today. I thought I'd challenge myself. I've done A4 for quite a while now, uh, since the sort of middle of last year, and decided to give um, a 12 by 12 another go. So what I'm using today is um, my first cut file from my prescription, and that's over at Perk Tree Cut Files. And what you get is every month you pay an amount, I think it's just under £10, and you get um, five exclusive cut files that aren't available in the shop. So you can have these as digital downloads or you can have them pre-cut. And you also get the, the um, freebie for that release, that month's release as well. So I'll pop the link for the shop in the, uh, in the description. Um, so yeah, I'm using this, it's a string of hearts and what I've done is I've cut it out on my Cricut and I'm using the Nouveau Glimmer paste to um, just paint the negative hearts that fit inside the cut file. So um, yeah, I'm uh, doing the big ones and the medium ones in just um, the normal glimmer paste so they're just going to be white with the glimmer paste and then the smaller hearts have um, watercolored them pink and um, I'm going to put the glimmer paste over the top I used um, for the watercolor I used a uh, Vicky Booten um, it was the powder pigment watercolors and it was the the deep pinky colour and what I've just done there is I've just marked where I'm going to have my cut file uh, just so I can add a bit of um, of the watercolour to the background and I want it to go along where the cut file goes across the top from left to right and then down where each string of hearts hangs down and I'm just going to add some of the pink uh, watercolour there so there, there's the line across the top and then where I've marked, I'm just going to uh, keep adding um, some more water to the powder pigment. And just running it down the lines where the hearts are going to drop, drop down the page. And um, I will add some of the pink splatters um, around, around the edges of this as well. I'm just trying to get the um the watercolor to run down slightly. That's why I've tilted the card at an angle. Just added a bit more water and made it a bit runnier so it runs down the card. just uh, drying some of the excess off here and now I'm just going to add some more water to the powder pigment and just add some splatters around the watercolour 
we will be able to see quite a bit of this watercolour as well because obviously the cut file is um, quite thin. So I'm happy with the way that's looking. Now I'm um, just showing you, you'll be able to see better in the close-ups. That was um, the white snowflakes and the white love hearts just covered in the glimmer paste. Um, and it looks really pretty. And just, um, it's just so they're not plain white. I've got some silver um, glitter card snowflake cut files there as well, which I've just cut out on my Cricut. And um, I'm going to add these to the layout as well because it was um, a snow day when this photo was taken. Photos, sorry, was taken. I've also added a, a stitched border on the white, and then distressed the edges of the white card and mounted it on to a twelve by twelve piece of uh, blue cardstock. I trimmed the white card down at the top and at the side. Obviously, so it would fit onto the 12 by 12 card. I'm just, um, I've just picked out some, uh, cards, blue cards, and a couple of pink, um, layers to go underneath my photos as well. I'm just positioning the photos into place. Uh, the one on the right hand side, I raised the top part of that up because I am running out of foam pads now. So just raising the top of that photo up um, onto foam pads and that one will go on the right hand side. Just adding a couple of more layers here. That's a circle from um, Paige Evans ephemera collection. And actually most of this is from a Paige Evans collection. Then the bird um, on the right hand side. The couple of uh, tabs and uh, uh, framing bits are from a Paige Evans ephemera. So just going to get this stuck, uh, stuck down into place now. Um, I was going to try and leave it so it looked like it was dangling so much, but once I started to put the um, love hearts into the uh, spaces, it started to lift up, and I didn't want it to lift up over the um, the hearts because I am raising the negative parts up onto foam pads as well, just so the cut file doesn't look completely flat. And it gives a really good effect. I was going to do all the hearts, but I ended up having to leave the, um, the two little ones at the end of each each end of the cut file because I lost one of them. So they end up staying um, just open. So here you can see I'm just sticking the rest of the cut file down and I do just leave the little hearts at the bottom of the string of hearts. Um, not stuck down so I'll just go down as far as the second heart on the bigger ones and then just leave the last little ones um, not stuck quite fully down so now that's stuck into place I've got a little um, chipboard flare there with some thread and that little pink hummingbird to the right hand side um, that's a the Paige Evans bird as well. I'm just popping that on up onto some foam pads as well. And I'm also going to be using um, some of the uh, Bramble Fox pieces. I've got this Forever in a glittery uh, silvery white, which will go in the middle of my photographs. And then I've got the XOXO that's going to go down the bottom left hand side. And I've also got 
uh, I think it's five of the perspective hearts that I added to my fox box. Uh, these are in the shop also. And they've got like a, a navy blue, a pinky, a silver and a gold in this set. And I'm nearly all out already. So I'm going to be purchasing some more of them um, once payday comes. So just going to get these um, snowflakes stuck into place now. They really don't look, look really pretty. The, um, the white ones that are covered in the glimmer paste. If you haven't got any of the glimmer paste already, I suggest getting some. Um, I got mine from Tonic Studios, which I'll also link in the comments as well. Um, I've used this a couple of times now, um, and I really enjoy using it. I cover everything in it, but I don't. I stop myself. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just popping this um, XOXO in the bottom left-hand corner with some wet glue and just sticking the rest of the snowflakes down. Just um, popping these perspective hearts down with some wet glue as well. And yeah, I've got three on the right and two on the left hand side. And just getting that forever. I'm just going to use that as my title. And um, that forever in the middle. Just holding that down just to make sure it sticks down quite well. You can see my little bramble fox box to the left hand side all my little bits in so just coming in now with some of the Lucy's cards drops the white drops and dotting some of them about because it's been a snowy layout I went for the frosty looking ones rather than the clear ones um, yeah you can get these from Lucy's cards as well I'll pop that shop in the description as well so you can take a look at them. now just coming in with some blue enamel dots just wanted to add a little bit more blue onto the layout but not too much so some blue enamel dots and just coming in with them a couple of nouveau drops as well just um trying them out i'm just trying them out on um certain layouts just to see how they look and try and get used to using them so yeah and that just adds a little bit, bit more blue onto the layout so now just getting all these um little loose drops all stuck down into place
Well, I'm just trying to decide if there's anything else I want to add to this and then realise one of my snowflakes isn't stuck down. So just get that stuck down into place. And then I think that's my layout just about done. Um, I do add a little bit of journaling onto this, but um, I haven't done that in the video. So thanks very much for joining me again today. And I um, hope you enjoy the close-ups. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.